and Iraq and I'm on the second year of the program. Uh, when I started the PhD, my question was, what role does painting play, if any, in shaping and or archiving collecting memory, collective memory? I started a while back painting about the stereotypes that is coming out of the region of the Middle East. I'm Iranian originally, and I was getting my images from media, uh, images showing men in black, landscape of dry desert and uh, covered up women and I started painting this painting as a reaction to what I'm expected to paint as as a Middle Eastern artist but after a while this became this realization that this stereotype may, may has a root in reality changed the painting towards more personal aspects so I started using these images as a reaction, but later on this, these images became as a source of information, something that I wouldn't have access to easily when I was back in Iran. Um, so it's, sometimes the images are straightforward, repetition, I mean, not, not obviously it's never going to be straightforward when uh, someone paints from a photo, but um, my interest is when I'm painting from a photo, Obviously, you get the news about an aeroplane crash, but what I can bring to this painting is the fact that these many plane crashes happen because of the sanctions that have been put in place against the Iranians to buy aeroplanes or new parts for the aeroplanes and the huge costs, the human costs that uh, uh, it that it has for normal people and the number of ordinary people who suffer from these sanctions so news of a oil tanker crash goes by as just a headline in the news but as someone who's personally involved with the with the people who are directly suffering people who have lost uh, people on the on the on the ship or people are suffering from the pollution of the water that has got the um, leaked oil in it. I think personally, I bring another aspect to this news. And I was thinking about this, thinking that sometimes the paintings could be quite symbolic because when you have lived, as I have, 25 years of my life, um, you learn to read into things rather than taking taking things as straightforward. Um, to get them what they are seem to be representing we all i think as normal citizen or even journalists develop this ability to use a, a sort of symbolism to talk about what is not allowed to be spoken about so the other aspect of my painting is that i would use uh, i still do i use images from the internet, normally media, that I make up my own stories and um, trying to talk about personal stories, memories, dreams, and there they can be quite symbolic as well, um, which I think painting is the best place for it. Or using a very straightforward image and trying to impose another meaning, I'm trying to get it to tell another different story. Or uh, often looking at art history and trying to find a contemporary relevance to some old master paintings. So I, I've come to understand that this collective memory, this term of collective memory, may not be the right question for me, because although as a as a woman, as a woman of a certain age coming from Iran, I do share certain memories with people of my age and gender. I mean, we do share collective memories, but so often what I paint about is very personal and this relationship starts from the moment I choose a certain photograph rather than another one um, to the point that the way I paint it, the way I crop it, the way, the way I use a certain image. I did make an artist book that I made prints, uh, wood prints, wood block prints from my paintings and I made a handmade artist book um, after the uh, Iranian uprising, which was before the Arab uprising, 
which I think is a very traditional way of archiving an event but what I more and more come to understand is my work is about personal memory it's true that the picture may be generic but this there are certain imagery that have shaped my <clears throat> background and my memory and so often I've um, I've seen it personally but then I see a picture that represents what I've seen that attracts me so this the question of identity comes up it came up uh, at the last presentation that how much this work is about me rather than what I'm trying what I have been trying to reflect that that I'm archiving a collective memory so I started a drawing diary to make a drawing every day of what is around me, what is about my life in London for the last 16 years, from my cat to a corner of my house to what interests me in the news. And it could be part of the studio or what I live with every day. But I seem to come back to what is actually interests me, the subject matter that interests me. And I do think about this, but I think subjects that have interested me continue to interest me for years and they take different shapes but I think true painting and drawing is the way I understand or keep even keep my relationship with the with the events that are important to me um, so we are all involved with the it's boring to explain but with the COVID but the one thing that really affected me through all this was these images that came out of America, um, in an island in New York about called Hot Thailand, where they are burying um, in mass graves people who have no money. And considering, and for me, this again has a double meaning, considering how much American policy has caused mass graves around the world, um, the money that could be spent, this is all very symbolic for me that the money could that could be spent on healthcare of a people of a um, population of a country is being spent on wars and causing pain in other countries and then just drawings as simple as landscapes at the same time i'm working on my bigger paintings and i'm trying to as a as an exercise to take the subject matter out of the painting use the same subject matter but treat it differently painterly um so this is work in progress it's not finished but that's what what i'm doing with the art and the other question that came up in the last presentation was the self-portrait obviously for me everything i do is self-representation and but if i go back to actual self-portrait years back i started putting this figure of a woman in red in my paintings very symbolically looking back at what she's left behind and using this symbolic self this self as symbolic theatrical um as an excuse to represent other women the woman in red the woman the scarlet woman which is considered the whore it, it is all quite symbolic it could be very directed by my own personal life or it could be used as a symbol to show a woman and this uh, figure has been coming and going um, through the years in my art and it tells its own story but if i wanted to I think use one of these images as a self-portrait it would be this which I can explain but in a, another con on another conversation so what I'm reading at the moment is this text by Julia Kostova about po powers of horror it's the same it's about the question of identity abjection the state of being cast off and this um, identity which I think um, takes shape in the distinction between what is self and what is the other i think this space in between can be presented channel of an identity so the abjection as such is a process that separates from one's environment that is not me and i'm going to focus in the next phase of the 
research on the role of horror in painting. Obviously, disasters and horrors is, are nothing new in the art history, but I think the access we have with the cameras and film sometimes gives us access to taboo subjects, corpse and decapitations and things that is quite new, it's not talked about, and it's quite distasteful. Obviously some images represent a very specific event in the time that has a specific meaning for me, but some of them are quite symbolic. So this is the next phase of the, phase of the uh, research. I'm going to look at horror and um, uh, basically pain of the others. So something as symbolic as an exploded oil tanker could talk about the human cost, environment cost, and the even economic cost. And it could be as well very old mastery and uh, disaster shipwreck representation of modern times. And I have always been, and I'm very interested in the role of um, the uh, war journalism and war correspondent. It's true that we do think that we are very much in, in touch with what's going on in the world, but then there are people who risk their lives to bring the news to us, but this news never reaches us. And, and then the news that reaches us has this, the shape of a misinformation. So I am very interested in this relationship and how this relation, how this information can be translated into a medium like painting. Yes, as I, talk, uh, I said before, I'm thinking about the pain of the others and how this can explain or shape my identity. So I've come to the uh, conclusion that the question for my research could be more about mapping an, of an identity through painting rather than talking about collecting identity, which is something really outside me. And maybe if I... I mean, something if I focus on personally, I have myself as a source to go back to. So I think I have finally come to the right question. And thank you very much.